Good afternoon, everyone. Roy here. I hope you all are doing well. Uh, today is July 28th. I just wanted to come to you with a quick physical therapy update and let you know what's going on. So today was my first day back to physical therapy after a couple weeks off, uh, which I'm glad I was able to get back in there as I'm noticing some spasticity on the left-hand side uh, that's causing some discomfort, but still manageable. Um, as some of you may know, last year, um, in two, 2019, um, God presented an opportunity uh, with my insurance company that allowed me to get physical therapy based on medical necessity um, without having to uh, get pre-authorization for visits. That ended in April of this year, um, which would have left us needing to, or has left us, uh, needing to request more visits. Unfortunately, due to COVID-19, uh, my therapy uh, was cut short before the April deadline. Um, so now we are back to asking for more visits. Um, the first set of visits, they approved six. Uh, those have ran out, and now they've approved five. So if history repeats itself, we'll, go, we'll run out of these five, and then it'll go down to four, three, and then two, and then none. Now, because of that, I have decided that after these five visits, I'm going to hold off um, I think for physical therapy for a while um, ideally I'd like to wait until October November when it gets cold uh, that way if I have major flare-ups we can use physical therapy with the other treatments that I do to help keep me out of the hospital in the meantime, I'll still continue integrated medicine, um, like massage therapy, acupuncture, uh, anything else that I might need in that realm of things. So uh, that's the plan. Um, again, you know, it's I'm just trying to uh, keep me out of the hospital. Well, my entire medical team. Uh, so shout out to all all my team because I think. Uh, we all kind of work well together and, uh, you know, try to do what's in my, uh, best interest. So, shout out to these guys for, uh, you know, doing what we can to help me out. I've said all along, um, that I think our insurance companies are corrupt. I think if you have enough medical documentation, uh, to back, uh, back up the need for a, a treatment and whatnot, it should just be approved uh, flat out. But again, our insurance companies are corrupt and uh, they're requiring prior authorization for the wrong things, in my opinion. Before it's all over with, I have a feeling that I'll have to get back to writing to the insurance company, uh, urging them to continue approving visits uh, rather than having me take um, other medication. Um, anybody that knows me knows that I am all for um, actual treatments that are non, uh, non-pharmaceutical. Uh, yes, sometimes we have to use them, but I think a lot of times they're overused. And I've always said that's the reason we have an opioid crisis. Um, Yes, we're in the middle of a pandemic, but uh, at the same time, we still have a opioid crisis. Um, so that leads me to my next thing that I can point out in my video. If you are someone who is having trouble uh, getting treatments that you need from your uh, insurance company, you have every right to write to your insurance company, file an appeal or a grievance, uh, whatever your insurance company calls it, 
Uh, most of the time it's either appeal or a grievance. You have the right to uh, write to them. You have the right to express uh, how you feel and your concerns. And sometimes you may have to write multiple times, and that's okay too. Um, but sometimes the squeaky wheel uh, gets the grease. So I encourage you to advocate for yourself if you're not doing so already. Anyway, that's the update for now. Um, I will resume therapy next week. And uh, we'll, we'll just keep uh, chugging along. So uh, right now I'm just doing it once a week uh, so I can space the visits out. Uh, anyway, I thank you for following along and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Um, if you haven't already, uh, if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, be sure to head on over to my YouTube channel. Um, there is exclusive content over there uh, that's not necessarily always here on Facebook. Uh, so you can get there by going to RoyAllenJones.com. Again, that's Roy Allen, A L L E N, Jones.com. In the meantime, take care, God bless, and stay healthy.